and praise God. Or Lord, help me say everything I need to want to say, but a lot of times you don't, and that's probably better. <laughs> just lets me see what he wants me to, I think. But uh, I just opened my Bible earlier to Psalms 34. It's, and after the song service, I was reading this. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in thee, Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. And I was thinking right after this, after, after Phil was talking, this next part, this verse 4, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I remember there was a time somewhere near a year ago, or maybe a little bit farther than that, I, uh, I, was, I, I wasn't well and uh, I took that EMT class so I knew how many... Uh, what my pulse should be and what my blood pressure should be and how many breaths I should it was all in my mind but I think my blood pressure was bad but my brother Danny said you I was I felt bad he said you want me to pray for you and I'd almost got to a spot where I was just like no I just don't don't worry about it you know that's just this never never be there we need to always know whatever it is we need to be Lord help me and just as I am he, he this Verse 4, I sought the Lord, and this is what I did. I came, he brought me to a point where I could, where I could pray. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. The burden that we carry, we just ask him, Lord, help me. And he, he lightens us. He takes that off of us. It says, this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of his troubles. That's me. Were you all waiting for me to get up? <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. This I appreciate this word this morning. It uh, it's always right on time. It's amazing. You know, you just I lay in bed and cry out to the Lord and come into the services and there He is. You know, just speaking from heaven and uh, giving us exactly what we need to hear. But you know, I thought of uh, um, well, turn over to First uh, John chapter three for just a second. I'm only going to read this one scripture and one verse and. Um, but Phil sort of alluded to it. You know, we are gonna, we are gonna get there. God's promised. And uh, but this one scripture here it says, "Below, behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the children of God." And uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, John, uh, that's the one that wrote this. These epistles, and also wrote the uh, the uh, Gospel of John. He always referred to himself in the, in the scriptures as that disciple whom Jesus loved. He got he understood this. I think he really understood that God loved us and loves us. You know, ongoing. And you know, I always have a seems like I always have a problem with this, and you know, and I. You know, I hit this bump in the mountain. You know, I'll get up to a certain place on the mountain and I'll hit this bump and I'll slide back down the mountain again. You know, and, and, and I just have a hard time sometimes just believing that God would actually love me. You know, and still love me. You know, for some of the things I do. But I believe that God, and he's saying that this morning, that God's love, it is so great we can't understand. They're poles apart. You know, and I, and I thought of a magnet. You know how a magnet works. If you, if you have the right poles toward each other, they just draw themselves to each other. If you turn it around the other way, pew, you know, you'll shoot the other one. One will shoot away from the other. Well, that's the way we are. You know, uh, Phil mentioned that scripture in Romans chapter 5 where it says, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for who? The ungodly. Ungodly is a pole apart from the godly. I mean, it's at the op opposite end of the spectrum. And yet he died for us while we were ungodly. You know, sometimes I think Jesus just likes a challenge, at least with me. <laughs> He's got a challenge, but I, it's, it goes way beyond that. It's a, it's a love that, that is going to stick with us. Those that come to God by him, that it's going to stick. He doesn't ever give up. He doesn't ever turn his back and say, what's the use? He loves us. 
with a love. He has pity on us. That's what it says in, uh, what is that, uh, 132 or um, 103, I think. You know, God knows our frame that we're dust. He has pity on As a father pities his children, so does the Lord pity them. And he loves us, beloved. And I just appreciate this this morning so much. And, and God help me, and there may be one or two out there that have the same problem, to believe that God will love you despite your failures, despite your shortcomings, despite, I don't care how many times you hit that bump and slide down the mountain, God is always going to be there to catch you. And he's going to put you back on the trail. And he's going to get you right back to, to that bump. And, <laughs> and you're going to learn eventually, even a hard-headed person like me is going to learn eventually to get over that bump <laughs> and, go, and go through it. God's, God, he's just faithful. We don't ever need to give up on God. I mean, this word is true. This word is true. He is for us and not against us. The devil will tell you the opposite. But he is not against us. He is for us. And let's just keep looking to him. I'll tell you, I, I just appreciate this word so much this morning. Uh, it has lifted my soul where I was in despair this morning. I'll be honest. But God, you know, it, it's, you know, I got up to lead the singing. and I said, God, how can I get up this morning and stand before those people? And, you know, that's, that's just the enemy. Uh, my wife tells me that all the time. But, uh, but you know, you get up and you turn your eyes where they need to be, to the hills where comes our help. And you begin to get your eyes on the Lord and it's amazing how God comes and, and he'll, just, he'll just help you. And it's always been that way and it, it will always be that way. We don't ever need to, to turn our back on God. There's no reason whatsoever. But um, I just appreciate, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And... Uh, you know, just pray for me. I got needs. You don't, but I do. <laughs> but uh, anyway, God's good.